Welcome back! I think we're gonna try and win this craps tournament. Because I think we can do so right now. It's been a while since I've done this. The ship's toilet paper is as rough as a cob. Well, the PMS Bouncy spared no expense on their toilet paper. This stuff feels like sandpaper. About 40 grit, I would say. Have you ever heard of shaving dice? What you do, is you shave them. And we're going to shave these dice using toilet paper. You shave them so their weight is now unevenly distributed, so they land on what you want. The modern day equivalent is to take those polyhedral die and put them in the microwave for a couple seconds. If you put them with like the 20 up, and you put them in the microwave for a couple seconds, the plastic will melt slightly, and that way the bottom is heavier, so it'll land on 20 more often. She's looking at me like you're crazy, but that's totally how you do it. I'm pondering. Oh, you're planning on doing it now? I'm thinking about how long it would go You about don't doing need it. to use that in the. Is there really a tournament for playing by yourself? Mind if I use my own dice? Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. Your dice appear to be acceptable, but you must use the dice we provide. House rules, you know. American asshole. Here's my Five Man Trophy scorecard. Charge a hundred smackers of chips to my room, will ya, bub? I feel lucky. Uh, but of course, sir. He didn't even touch it. Put it all it. on cum. <laughs> With a name like that, how can I lose? Yes, sir, right away. Here are your dice. <laughs> American asshole. Now we'll use the other dice. Come on, little doggies! Ruff, ruff. Don't let me down! I might have needed to lose to get maximum points. We're not getting maximum points. It's just not gonna happen. Yippee! <laughs> let it ride, fella. I'm rolling now! How does he get his arms to go through his head like that? Yes! Let him build. Is there any strategy in this game? To craps? Wow! Massive. Look at those I don't steps. understand the game at all. Oh my god! Look at those stats! Hello, handsome. Hello. I'm Doomy Moore. Oh. Who, uh, me? Oh, <laughs> I'm Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. And no point does she want to correct his eye contact. How lucky you are tonight. Well, uh, tonight? Yeah. Finally! I'm getting lucky! Because you've cheated and have the ability to pass your hands through your head. Would you like to go to my cabin for a more intimate dice game? Not until we win. Hubba, hubba. Hope I have a rubber. Sure. What is it? Strip Liar's Dice. You do know how to play Strip Liar's Dice, don't you, Larry? Sure. No, but I'm willing to learn. Where's your cabin? Is it what I think it it's is? five ten. It's liar's dice. I'll go get the dice in the cups. That's you mean you your dice, right? I gotta wear a cup? Hurry, Larry. You, uh, I just can't wait to you up your ante. Pretty much. Oh. But yeah, we won the craps tournament. How about a drink, Larry? You know, I'm not really that thirsty right now. Okay. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable, Larry. Great. Mind if I kick off my shoesy woozies? Um, sure. Do you know how to play strip liar's dice, Larry? No, but uh, I'm sure I'll pick it up. <laughs> Let's go. We'll play with what we've got on right now, okay? Sure. All right. Let's roll. Rattle them bones. <coughs> it's your bet. Now, we could play this, and it's a fun game to play, and there's a lot of strategy involved, but this is an LP. So perhaps we should expedite things a little bit. Princess, did you know Larry was Jewish? No, but that makes sense. There's his yarmulke. What just happened? I just uncovered her dice. 
it's a cheat code to get through this game faster. Oh, go ahead and challenge Larry. Because now she can't lie about what she's got. She can try. Let's see him. Son of a, I'll buy a die. Let's see. One, two, three. Four, three sounds good. I'll just go ahead and throw those out there. And over to you. The dice are calling. They say higher, higher. Dang, there are five threes now. And over to you. Let's see him. See. Son of a, I'll buy a die. <laughs> Come on, baby. All right. We'll go with three sixes. That sounds like fun. Throw these out, see what we get. The dice are calling. They say higher, higher. Okie dokie. In addition to raising, I'll give you this to think about. Oh, I just can't help myself. Uh, your move? One, two, three, four, five. Okie dokie. In addition to raising, oh. I'll give you this to think about. If she's called me on it. Oh, and it just uh -huh. keeps going higher. Pressure getting to you, Larry. I'm pretty sure that's not on the table. Let's see what you got. And it looks like we have a loser. Wait, what? Apparently, I'm seriously I'll out of practice. And away we go. One, two. Nope. I don't think sure. so, lady. I thought I had you. I'll buy a die. Come on, baby. Is this as fun for you guys at home as it is for us here in the studio? Oh, and it just keeps going higher. Pressure getting to you, Larry. Let's see what you got. It's just my luck. All right. Ones must be wild. It's the only thing that makes sense. Oh. I'll buy a die. Rattle them bones. The bullseye's function as a wild card. All right, that's where I've been messing up. So, one, two, three, four, five twos. I'm betting just a wee bit higher. Let's see him. Son of a... I'll buy a die. This is going to go much faster now. Let's see. Twos again. Well, let's go with threes. One, two, three, four, three. The dice are calling. They say higher, higher. Nope. Show them. Oh, wait, there are. <laughs> ah. I'll buy. By the way, Did when this bet? game first came out, you could download a demo of the game, and the demo was just this. <laughs> this was the demo of the entire game. I'm betting. Before you challenge me, you may want to feast your eyes on these. Whoa, they're beautiful, all right. But what about the game? The dice, Larry. I mean, feast your eyes on the dice. I'd say there's seven fours. I'm betting just a wee bit higher. Oh, and it just keeps going higher. Pressure getting to you, Larry. There are exactly eight. I'm betting. I should have put Show them out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, come on. 
I'm out of practice. Let's see him. Say la vie. I'll buy a die. Come on, baby needs a new pair of shoes. She's now out of what money. She has to start stripping. To I don't know. I heard it once in a movie, I think. Twos or threes? Sixes. Three sixes? And over to you. Oh, and it just keeps going higher. Pressure getting to you, Larry. I see there's five of those. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge it. I dare you. Mm, the bet is high, but I think these will give you something to think about. Okie dokie. In addition to raising, ha. I'll give you this to think about. Oh, and it just keeps going higher. Pressure getting Dang it. to you. That's how many of them there are. Aha! Uh -huh. Let me take those back. I think the truth is closer to this. Let's see him. Son of a... Time to start I stripping. I think I'll start with my shoe. Hey, I kicked off my shoes before we started. Didn't we agree we'd play with what we had on? Yeah, I suppose so. She takes it off so well, though. I'll buy a die. She only gets $100 for a shoe. It. Shake it like you mean it. If I had a nickel for every time I'd said that. <clears throat> mm, the bet is high, but I think these will give you something to think about. I'm going for the gusto. Oh, I just can't help myself. Uh, your move? Not a chance. When you've got it, <laughs> you've got it. I yeah, suppose Larry. I'll sell off my blouse. What about your other shoe? Now She's gonna going to get back somewhere. to it eventually. Hubba, hubba, woo, woo. Larry, control yourself. Way to Seriously. play it cool, buddy. I'll buy a die. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge it. I dare you. Oh, I just can't help myself. Uh, your move. I'm betting just a wee bit higher. Show them. See, I remembered how to play this game. Not a bluffer. Hmm, looks like this skirt will have to go. Never again will I doubt the power of prayer. This is totally how I got my first college girlfriend. I'll buy a die. Why is she wearing a bathing suit? Because she's got that nice tub in the background there. Let's see, three fives looks like the best thing we've got. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge it. I dare you. She's not going to oh, challenge it. And it just keeps going higher. Pressure getting to you, Larry. No, what's getting to me is how long this is taking. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge it. I dare you. The dice are calling. They say higher. Higher. Yeah, and I'm the Queen of England. Let's see him. That's in the sequel. Ooh, touch me. I'm on fire. I'll buy a die. It's like he's quoting from my playbook. Bones. Let's see, what do you think? Twos? Mm -hmm. Oh, sixes. Mm, yeah, sixes. This game goes so much faster when you can see her cup. Mm, the bet is high, but I think her. these will give you something to think about. Cups? Those two. Play your dice right, and you just might get to spend some quality time in there. I see what you did there. Oh, he doesn't look sure. enthusiastic. He doesn't look likely. When you've got it, <laughs> you've got it. Darn, I need to lose another piece of clothing. Oh, 
pinch me. I'm dreaming. <laughs> Silly me. I forgot about my earrings. What? It's clothing. I'm wearing it, aren't I? Yeah, but I don't wear earrings. Are you saying that you're not man enough to allow a poor, frail little woman a little handicap? Whoa, now no, sexism. Oh, I guess not. Well, it's not sexism if it's in your favor. Larry. That's not what I would call it. There goes one earring. I'll buy a die. And she gets $150 for one earring. Well, they did look fancy. <laughs> here's my bet. And here's a few visual aids. Ah, uh, what the hell. Let's see what you got. Ooh, yeah. And here goes the other earring. <laughs> Getting excited, Larry. Nope. Ecstatic. I still got all my clothes on, sister. Oh, and he's still wearing those leopard underprint, well, underpants. Them bones. In case oh, you were wondering. Sixes. One, two, three, four, five, six sixes. That should cause her to call me a liar almost immediately. Let's see him. Better luck next time, babe. I'll buy a die. This game's so easy. Now that I've remembered how to play it. One, two, three, four, five, four. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge it. I dare ya. <laughs> here's my bet. And here's a few visual aids. Show them. Yeah, I guess you're not the bluffer you think you are, sweet cakes. Well, what? I guess it's the bra. Or I guess she the forgot about the other shoe. I just don't know. I... Never gone this far before. I'm so embarrassed. I'll flip a coin. Heads, panties, tails, bra. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way around? Right? <laughs> Whatever you say, Larry. <gasps> tails! Panties it is. Oh, my cup runneth over. She has to take a big old sip first. Here you are, Larry. You earned them. Them? Perhaps I could uh, freshen your drink. Them? Oh, what you got going on down there? I'll just suck on the ice cubes. I'm horrified. Oh, I'll buy a die. Take it like you mean it. Them? Them? Four fours. Or four fives. And I didn't even look at him. I'm just trusting him. I was still trying to figure out that them. High, but I think these will give you something to think about. And over to you. Challenge me. Mm, the bet is high, but I think these will give you something to think about. Not a chance. Say la vie. Come on, baby. One more and she loses a shoe. Oh, she's not even buying the die now. I gotta run out all her die. So there's four fours. One, two, three, four, five fours. She's cunning minx. And that's my bet. I'll show these dice and re-roll. The dice are calling. They say higher, higher. Ah, uh, doggy. In addition to raising, oh my god, I'll give you I can't history. believe that worked. Let's see him. Say la vie. Oh my god. Yeah, she doesn't want to. She don't want to take off the bra. Three twos. That's a pretty weak starting hand. Oh my god. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge, Challenge it. Challenge it. I dare you. I'm sure she will too. Mm, the bet is high. But I think these will give you something to think about. I think you're a liar. Sure. Yeah, I guess you're not the bluffer you think you are, sweet cakes. I couldn't possibly be cheating. <laughs> okay, there's With his my yarmulke. Challenge it. Covers his bald spot you. nicely. Oh, I just can't help myself. Uh, your move. Okay, there's my bet. Challenge it. I dare ya. Show him. <laughs> Psych! Take it like you mean it. She's down to her last die. Here we go. 
Two fours. And over to you. The dice are calling. They say higher, higher. What a dumb broad. Let's see him. That's all well, she had to go I guess with. it wasn't meant to be. Well, that does it, Larry. She can wear too that other shoe all day. For me. <laughs> I guess this is the moment you've been waiting for. I'm terrified. Make yourself comfortable, so Larry. Yeah. He just took off all his a clothes. Drink, Larry. You know, I'm not really that thirsty right now. Oh, come on, humor me. Besides, won't we have more fun if we're both a little loose? Uh, I guess you're right. Sure. This ought to fix him. Very loose. Here you are, Larry. Time for the Leisure Suit Larry music video. I, yeah, you can't make sense out of any of this. They also released this video on the internet when the game came out to entice people in. Yep, instead of mushrooms, it's condoms. Once again, Larry, you snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. He is pretty okay, good at that. There's my room. I'm gonna make it without a single soul seeing me naked. Why do you even care? Oh! Oh! Ooh! Wait, how did this close get down here? He's got a spare set. He's got a lot of spare sets. Uh, this is what I talked about earlier. They upgrade the wallpaper based on the girl you have conquered. And we just conquered Do Me More. I don't feel like we conquered her, but alright. Your attention, please. Larry Lapper has just won the crap shooting portion of the competition with what, a what? record high score. Congratulations, Larry. Oh, don't spend it all in one place. Who are you calling it? Oh. Yeah, baby. I think we might have time to turn our librarian into a nymphomaniac. Yay! By going to the clothing optional pool. Okay. The Cat in the Hat, Flintstone, Fred Flintstone, Mickey Mouse, ah, Donald Duck's head, hat, yeah, baby. Jughead's hat, I think, The Little Mermaid's bra, Charlie Brown. Yeah. This is a very popular pool. Whoa, sorry, dude. You gotta stop what a here. Dick. Why? What's wrong? You. You can't enter the pool like that. Like what? Like that. You know, dress. It Why says not, optional. Dude? Safety reasons, dude. For sure. Safety reasons? Way. Purser's orders. That polyester fabric could ignite in this tropical sun. So, drop them. Um, well, I... I don't think I should enter naked. I mean, everyone would, um, stare, you know, at my, uh, <clears throat> physical attributes. Yeah, for sure. You know, um, Dick, once he didn't I went tell you his into name. a restaurant that required a tie, and, well, because of my personal aversion to owning anything other than leisure wear, um, I never had a tie. So, I... Sure, I got courtesy loaners. Oh. <sighs> Good. This little dude right here is exactly what you need. Oh, great. Of course I couldn't get a normal swimsuit. Can I at least have a towel to cover it up? For sure. No problem, dude. Now, don't get it wet. It might shrink. <laughs> or his penis. 
Look, it's Archie, Jughead, Veronica, oh, uh, Betty, and Veronica. I got sunscreen in my eyes. Boy. Oh, towel boy. I need a towel here, please, quick. <gasps> Oops. Oh, boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, my goodness. Well, well. What have we here? <laughs> Is that your trunk, or are you just glad to see me? And what's your name, little Babar? Larry. <laughs> Larry Laffer. And you? Drew. Very more. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen a codpiece since I took Professor Lipkin's minor playwrights at the late Elizabethan period during my sophomore year at Barnum. Oh, God, I've she's a reader. I've never seen one with such a cute African influence. You know, I'm quite interested in history, but I'm essentially ignorant of anything past the tertiary-level African tribes. Could you share a little of its immediate history with me? Perhaps its regional influences or its acquisition history? Oh, well, the cabana boy gave it to me because I forgot my swimsuit. <laughs> That's what I would do. All right, what's the first thing you want to do? You think so? The palm branch is quite strong. You will never break it. You can't even move it. Are you sure? What if I just push it out of the way? Why are all the nipples weird colors? They're working with a limited palette. I'm just going to go ahead and take this well, book. Well, Mr. Grabby, not much on manners, are we? Shouldn't we ask the lady's permission to borrow her reading matter instead of just stealing it? It's an adventure game. I take what I want. Would you mind if I borrowed your book? Not at all. I finished it. So many black bars in editing. You don't have any clothing at all, do you, Drew? Of course not. I love nudism so much that just as soon as I board ship, I get rid of every single piece of pesky clothing. Good idea. And I force my cabin boy to lock up my suitcase someplace where I can't possibly find it so I can spend the entire week here by the pool naked. I eat, sleep, sun, and swim here, never leaving the comfort of the chaise. It may not be an ideal vacation for everyone, but for me, well, it's what I love most. Oh, this tropical He's sun maintaining eye contact. I hope you don't mind, Larry, but I need to spend a few minutes rubbing the sunscreen all over my naked body. Need help? No, but nice try. I really like the way it makes my skin glisten, you know? The way it brings out the soft little hairs on the back of my neck, my arms, my... Stop! <laughs> I can't take it! Aww. I didn't realize I was being so hard on you. Excuse me, Larry. Here comes a waiter. This will just take a second. Waiter! A waiter! Hey there, beautiful. What can I do for you? I want a gigantic erection. Well, looks like your uh, little buddy there's got you covered, huh? <laughs> gigantic. <What? laughs> so bring me a gigantic erection. Well, okay, baby. I'm your man. Well, where is it? I'm working on it. Am I moving that computer? Whoa. <laughs> Look, I want a mixed drink, a cocktail. You know, lime juice, 151 proof rum, vodka, triple sec, mayonnaise with a hollowed out frozen banana to suck through. You know, a gigantic erection. Okay, but uh, it'll take a while, you know. Anyway, we can't... <laughs> we can't pick her up just yet. I'm gonna go now. Okay. It's a copy of Persons Magazine, with a big cover story on that hot mother-daughter country-western singing duo, The Jugs. Let's check this out right now. I don't even want to carry it in Here's my pocket. Here's an article about the country-western singing duo, The Jugs. It seems there was a little incident at a recent benefit concert where they were arrested and charged with public lewdness and solicitation. Their publicist blamed it all on a rare chemical sensitivity problem. The article concludes by saying the girls are going to take a little time off, staying out of the limelight until the scandal dies down. I'd be okay with them well, being publicly lewd. Magazines are so boring. I'll just leave it here. They could also solicit me if they so desired. Uh, you know what? Let's take care of the librarian. We're running out of time, so we'll do that. Your attention, please. Walter Forbes to the Buxel. A children's science book entitled Fun with Electromagnetism. This is important. 
I think I'll scan a little of this first to see if it's something I want to read in depth. In 1823, English physicist William Sturgeon, at age 40, devised the first electromagnet. He insulated an iron bar by painting it with thick varnish, wrapped copper wire around the bar, then connected the wire to a voltaic pile. Hmm, I think I once had voltaic piles. Ow! Connected it to a voltaic pile and created a crude electromagnet that could lift pounds of iron. You too can have fun with electromagnets. Wrap any iron bar with wire and apply electricity, and we, you're having fun with electromagnetism. Uh, I think I'll pass on this one. Jeez, don't they have anything with steamy raw yet sensitive and meaningful sex? Cushel Star may be checked out. <laughs> it's the thrilling tale of adventure on the high seas. Leisure Suit Larry spends a night hoisting the old yard arm. It sounds naughty. It's the thr They've got several books in here that it's are the thrilling tale alternate of titles of this game. Leisure Suit Larry's Ship Happens. I'm looking for a specific it's book. It's the thrilling tale of the world's largest cruise ship. Leisure Suit Larry takes an enormous ship. Hmm, what's this? Oh, a book on that great aircraft manufacturer. Fucker, more than just an airplane. And it's by Drew Barrymore. Hmm, I think I'll scan... Oh my god, more history. something I want to read in depth. Anton Hermann Gerard Fokker was born in 1890 oh in Java. That's how I feel too, At Harry. an early age, he began an airplane manufacturing business in Germany. Not Germany. During World War I, no woman, even a totally naked one, is worth reading that. There were no jokes or anything in that, guys. I, I just I saved us all a little bit of time. Hiya, Vicky. Yes. Oh, it's you again. Uh, there's one other joke that's not going to make sense. Tickle your ass with a feather? <gasps> what? what did you say? I said particularly nasty weather. Oh. Really? How about me whispering a few Dewey Decimal numbers in your ear, Victorian? As if I haven't heard that line before. Men, you're all alike. Let's see what she's reading. She's reading Prudish and Proud. What book do we have? The Erotic Adventures of Hercules. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Take it on top of the pile. She might be too clever to fall for that. I've got a better idea. But first, she needs to look something up in the in the computer. Pick a topic. Sappho? Sappho? Yeah. Just a moment. Let me look that up for you. I don't think she's gonna find it. So let me just Maybe take I this. Can just slip this out of here while she's not looking. Congratulations, Fagin. Now what? Very literary reference for a Larry game. We have one book on that, but the captain is reading it. Huzzah! And we'll just go ahead and... Not now, Larry. She'll see you. Just go look just something up. Let me look that up for you. Nice going, Larry. That ought to stimulate her inner woman. This works on all librarians. I've tested it. No, I'm sorry. That book is checked out. Really? Because I just saw a lot of them here. She's searching for a dildo, guys. Oh, there it is. Yeah, baby. Something seems different. <laughs> There's a dip. Oops. Oh, hey there. Dildo. Something seems very different. Hey, excuse me, miss. Didn't you used to be the ship's librarian? Look what she's playing. Let's do that. So, uh... Is that a library book in your pocket? Or are you just glad to see me? So when they started talking about the Easter... Uh, okay. Yeah, baby! They started talking about the Easter eggs online. Sierra started releasing tiny little hints. And one of the hints was you have to take control of the moon. You see these naked butts here? Yeah. 
If I hold down the control button on my keyboard and then click on one of them, the Easter egg comes up. Let's see. But before we unlock the Easter egg... But, um, what do you do for, say, entertainment? Oh, I start at one end of the male passengers and work my way through to the other. Unfortunately, I'm now on my third pass through most of them. I've been gone two minutes! She works fast. Damn. Um, do you think we should ask her about the weather? Particularly nasty weather. Of course you may. <laughs> and what's more, I'll help you. Larry, it's time to turn my literary research into action. I, um, well, yes, I, 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 I... Oh! 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 I, wow. Oh, yes. Oh, He's shedding like I'm crazy. Yippee -yay, yippee -yay, yippee -yay, yippee -yay. Working like I'm Tupperware. Here's our Easter egg. Oh, now what am I going to do, Vicky? Uh, what more is left to do? I mean, my clothes. How can I get back to my room naked? Ah, oh, don't worry, Lar. Where's the gerbil? I know you a jacket. <laughs> Here's my room. This time I made it. Are you catching on to a running joke? Your damn hippies should be ashamed. What if I think she's on the wrong cruise? And we've conquered Victoria Your Principles. Your attention, please. Don and Mark have just won the synchronized skinny dipping portion of the competition. Oh, goodness. Did you see that one down there? Hello. Yeah, baby. You got to be more alert than that if you're going to catch them all. Because whether or not we get them all is entirely up to you. Oh, God. That way I don't feel bad when we don't. All right, we're running short on time, but maybe, just maybe, we can complete another competition... The, the sexual prowess competition. Yeah, baby. Welcome to the Love Master 2000. Don't don't look at that. This button is clearly labeled "Do Not Touch," so naturally your curiosity is piqued. Are you sure? Okay. You tell me when you figure out what that did. It changed something somewhere in the ship. Don't pay attention to the lava lamp. It's, I don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes I think I see something in that lava lamp's random patterns. Wrong, Larry. It's just your dirty mind. I must have a very dirty mind. Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm used to old computer games. Okay, right, here we go. It's time to compete in the Love Master 2000. Larry is going to show off his sexual prowess with the sex robot. Look at these oh, scores. Yes. Oh. Here's Larry. <sighs> Two points. And he is spent. Well, we're going to have to get better than that. Wow. I bet I was in there an hour. Your score, Larry Lather. Two. I don't think we can do better than that. Oh, you're supposed to get that score? Why can't I get into the library? There's this weird giant lava lamp in the way. Oh, hey. <laughs> do you think perhaps she could help us with the score? I'm back. So you are. You know, you are the greatest, baby. Ka-chunk, ka ka Yeah, right. Nice line. <laughs> no, really, since you left, I've done nothing but read about sex. And now I'm the most sexually knowledgeable person on this ship. Yeah, but it's terrible at grammar. Oh, That's not how really? I, <laughs> I, I don't think she wrote the subtitles. Yeah, I bet you would. No, I don't think I'll prove it with you. I know now. You just weren't that good. 
Oh, yeah? Prove there it. There must be some way to test your theory that you're the most sexually competent person aboard ship. Oh, really? How? So, uh, what do you say we see how you do on the old Love Master 2000? Oh, good idea. But it won't work. I'm an employee, and employees aren't allowed Vise Man Trophy scorecards. But, um, I have a card. You could use mine. Well, I don't know. No self-confidence, eh? You're on. <laughs> He can try again okay, and again and again. There you go. This will prove who's the real sex pert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. She is having some fun in there. That was fast, though. The butt smoking. Well, Let's see it top that. Oh, I couldn't. You win, I guess. Now, um, <clears throat> how about some private lessons? <laughs> Dream on. I'm heading for my cabin. This guy's hulking out. Oh, oh, he's the Hulk now. But wait, I didn't even lose all my clothes yet. Oh, baby. Oh. Yeah. Your score, Larry Lapp. Oh. One thousand. Wow, a perfect score. Laughter, come by the office, okay? I get off at midnight. Please. Well, you didn't beat Vicky, but who cares? You got a record high score on the Love Master 2000. And there we go. That's two competitions down You're and two babes won. Oh. Just won the sexual technique portion of the competition with a record high perfect score of 1,000 points. Congratulations, Larry! What a man! I've been saying it all along. See? Max score, max score. One, two, three, four competitions left. But that's all we got for now. We're going to leave you with the Hulk, the smoking robot, the mermaid, and whatever the hell Sloth is doing. And we'll see you guys next time.